Welcome back. You're watching Morning Live. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, embracing technology and enhanced learning in South African schools calls for an integrated, sustainable, blended approach to curriculum development. Both teachers and learners should be sufficiently equipped with digital learning skills in order to embrace 21st century learning opportunities. Teachers play a vital role in the lives of children, which is why Vastratex Teachers for Change, in partnership with the Gauteng Department of Education and Matthew Guniwe, are training 12,000 teachers to ensure true transformation in the classroom. I'm joined by Candice Dupri, who's the Product Marketing Manager at Vastratex. She joins me in the studio. Candice, good morning. Thank you very much for joining me. Good morning. Thank you for having me. In more comprehensive detail, talk to me about the Teachers for Change program. Well, fundamentally, the Teachers for Change program is for any teacher that has brought technology into their classroom and is transforming learning and teaching. That's what it's all about. Mm. Um, whether they've put in a projector and a normal screen or they've gone to the interactive whiteboard such as the um, Department of Education here in Gauteng, mm. um, it's around bringing um, digital learning into the classroom and acknowledging teachers for this big step. I mean, we've, we've gone from a um, really traditional teaching to information age where we're now moving to far more of a conceptual learning and we like to acknowledge teachers who've really embraced this um, and, are, and are really transforming their, their classroom. But, but there's a difference between teachers embracing technology and being able to completely interact and share that experience with up-and-coming students. How, what, what gaps have you identified? It's, it was over a year ago that yes. the first paperless classroom Correct. was introduced in Gauteng. Correct. So when they introduced the first, the first screens into those five plus two classrooms, um, they, we, we offered basic um, training on all the boards. And then we sort of took a step back, and, and that's where Matthew Ganiwe got involved as well. And we went, okay, well, that's great, but obviously, you know, you've, you've got you guys that, that take, you know, ha take on the technology and run with it, mm. um, the early adopters, so to speak. And then you've got the laggards where it's really, really difficult and it's a bit scary. Um, so what we did, and like you said in your, in your introduction, um, we are training over 12,000 teachers currently. So we've had to ensure that there is a far more intensive um, training program that can sort of bridge the gap between the laggards and early adopters. Mm. And we do that by a teachers for change or a train the trainer program. Mm. Um, so although we, we are training all the teachers to a certain level, there are those, like I said, the early adopters mm. who we're training that they become trainers. Re reflect um, back for me very quickly. Uh, a year ago, the first paperless classroom was uh, introduced. It's a year and a bit later now. W what have we seen? Is, is, is there a good story to tell? Absolutely. Um, and one of them, I mean, there many of the schools have got great stories. But the one is um, Boit Malong in Timbisa. Mm. If you talk to that principal, she lightens up. Um, so some of the stuff that come out there, when I asked her, you know, how has this impacted um, your teaching and your results? Although we know the matric results didn't um, improve, what did improve was the quality. Mm. Um, she said that um, you know, previous years they had around 28% of students who got a tertiary level um, exemption. This year it was around 48%. So the quality of education, and if I have to bring it to MEC Le Sufi's um, vision, it was that the students who graduate or who matriculate not only um, can compete with our private schools, but on an international level. Mm. And now we're getting 20 odd percent more students who are who have the opportunity of going on to, um, you know, tertiary education. So that was one of the the great impacts that it has had. Are teachers reacting to the evolution of the classroom? They are. It, like I said, it has been a bit of a slow process. Um, some have reacted and are making huge transformation in the in the learning and teaching. And some it's been a slow. Um, you know, sort of a slow, s slow start. Mm. Um, but even with that, the, there's new technology that's coming out now. And it's constantly evolving, isn't constantly it? Constantly evolving. Um, and some of the new technology that actually need to look out for that's coming up now in the next probably month or two um, is really a digital whiteboard. Um, so MEC has acknowledged that some teachers are ready and have, and have grasped this and are running, um, and some are a bit slow. And for that, um, he's now putting in a digital whiteboard. Um, as a stepping stone. Wow. Um, so he really is. Mm. is Quick, quickly, people want to find out more about Teachers for Change. Where can they go? Um, they can go onto the website www.vashtech.com 
or they can give us a call at 011 300 7900. Okay, or well just can Google the details. Okay, that was Candice, the Pre Product Marketing Manager at Vastra Tech, talking to us about their Teachers for Change uh, program that's run in partnership with the Gauteng Department of Education and Matthew Kaniwe. They're currently training 12,000 teachers to ensure true transformation is happening in the classroom. You can Google the details to find out more about this program, but take an ad break, you don't go anywhere.